I was 21 years old and 20 at Universe Gym in Massachusetts when American Muscle Magazine called me. The rest is history. And here are a few of the other amazing discoveries that American Muscle Magazine has stumbled upon. When you see some of the sports greatest on American Muscle and in the Muscle Magazines, do you ever wonder how they got there and what they looked like when they started? Well, we thought you'd get a kick out of seeing some of the stars that our staff at American Muscle Magazine discovered long before they ever dreamed of becoming a bodybuilding champion. Franco Santoriello, circa 1982, at the age of 16. A mere 150 pounds. We meet him just after his family moved from Kentucky to his home in New Jersey and was preparing to compete at the Teenage USA in Atlanta. He won the lightweight class. Today, Franco is a national champion and a professional in training for the European Grand Prix Tour this fall. He weighs 220 pounds at 6% body fat. Eddie Robinson was a 5'7", 168-pound, 16-year-old teenage powerhouse when we first learned about it. Training near his home in Clearwater, Florida, Eddie broke almost every teenage bench press record before he turned 18. Then, in 1983, he won the Teenage Mr. Florida West Coast title, the first of many to come, and the start of an electrifying career. Today, as a WBF pro bodybuilder, Eddie weighs over 250 pounds in the offseason and competes at 215. And as one of the most liked bodybuilders in the sport, his influence and power transcend beyond lifting weight. Craig Titus was a newcomer to the sport when he was spotted by an American Muscle Magazine scout at the 1989 Houston Championship. The 5-foot, 8-inch muscle maniac weighed in at 187 pounds that day. After winning, he and everyone in the audience knew that Craig was destined for greatness as a bodybuilder. After four years of training and following the bodybuilding lifestyle, Craig entered and won the Ironman last December at 210 pounds. His genetics and training principles will only ensure that Craig Titus will live up to his family name. We had heard about a monstrously built 21-year-old training at the Universe Gym in Somerville, Massachusetts. Mike Vatarazzo was a 240-pound bodybuilder, but had never competed. Well, after a year of our begging him, Mike finally obliged and won a regional event being held near his home. Today, Mike is the USA champion, and it could comfortably be said that he is the sport's most popular muscle man, and he has become a favorite guest star at the Muscle Mania events each year. Years ago, Mr. Universe John Brown called to tell us that he was training a new teenager with loads of potential. Light heavyweight Sean Ray went on to win many teenage events and competed at the 1986 Junior National, but lost to a more massive and better conditioned Eddie Robinson. Although he hasn't physically changed much over the last few years, Sean has been good enough to make his mark on the pro scene, placing well on the Olympia stage. If you know a bodybuilder who has the potential, both physically and mentally, to become a bodybuilding champion, tell us. Who knows? Maybe they too will become an American Muscle Magazine discovery. <laughs>